Good evening. Good evening. Yes. Oh, yes. You're the prodigy. Hmm. I was expecting something else. I hope you're aware of what you're getting yourself into. Our novices train for years for this trial. And as much as I respect the Grand Master, I think this is naive. In other words, it will be dangerous. Be aware of that. How selfless of you, but as you wish. Ah, then it seems I'm granted the extraordinary honor of exalting the first pathless in the history of the Order to a keeper. The others will scream for joy. <sighs> Give me the package the Grand Master gave you and say hello to your new comrades. I have to go prepare something. What? Oh, hello. You're our unexpected addition, aren't you? The prodigy? It does, actually. I'm Kalia Sakaresh, by my path novice and aspirant to the first sigil. I have been told what you did in Old Rationgrad, that you saved the excavations and fought back the mercenaries all on your own. An astonishing feat, truly. You have my respect for that. Maybe, yes. Sometimes death is the only logical consequence of our actions. You know, I'm really curious as to what the mercenaries thought they were doing. Someone willing to attack the Holy Order is either extremely powerful or extremely naive. Anyway, it's been an honor to meet you in person. Let's talk later. I don't want to hear it. You're prattling. I don't want to hear it. Just shove off. You have to ask. This country is going downhill, and you are living proof of it, my friend. First, Neremi's wild mages are allowed to walk on the holy temple grounds as if it were some kind of brothel. Then mercenaries are hired, and now you. An outlander, a pathless, are able to be initiated into the sigils of the Holy Order. We've trained for years to stand here, and until now, I thought that this country respected its traditions. That's my problem. Now get out of my sight. All right, enough of the chatter. Come here. All right, enough of the chatter. Come here. Here. These potions will be necessary later, so be careful with them. Apart from that, it's still a few miles to the ritual place. As you're gifted with magic, the spores in the forest ahead will make you a little dizzy. But we won't stay for long. Any questions? story. Simply put, they come from a special kind of mushroom that has infested this forest, and staying near them worsens the arcanist's fever. So, in case you're thinking about exploring further, take some magical protection and some ambrosia with you.
good. Stay close to me. So this is the Whispering Forest. Fascinating. I've read a lot about it, but never actually seen it. Poor thing. My brothers and I have seen the border countless many times before. But I bet you know all about the Undercity's rat holes instead. Get ready! And what are you doing here? She's with me now. Forever. What are you, deaf? Identify... Self. His eyes. Master, this is the Red Madness. Shit, of course. You will put away that pickaxe right now, my sir, and then get on your knees. She wanted to leave. Don't you understand? She wanted to leave me, just like that. This but is now, disgusting. She will stay. She will... By the righteous path, have you lost your mind? I could ask you the same thing, damn it. Did you forget what Magister Yero did to the novices? This man could have attacked us at any moment. Oh, really? Malthus protect us from your cunning. But did the thought ever cross your mind that one needs to understand a disease in order to heal it? And that some apothecary might have given their left hand for a living patient? This... you're not being fair, Master. I... I was only protecting us. Like heck you did! You behaved like an idiot! And not for the first time! 
The other masters might ignore that fact due to your religious commitment and your blood. I get that. But if something like this ever happens again, you will be suspended from the rites and will spend the rest of your life polishing prayer banks in the sanctum. Do I make myself clear? He really was trying to protect us, Master. Maybe... Do I make myself clear? You... You do, Master. And I beg your forgiveness for my offense. Granted. Now let's push on. We will take care of the body after the ritual. Are you okay? Just save it. First foothold. This is where Malthus's vassals erected their first camp. So behave yourselves accordingly. You too. Well then. Before we start, there's something I need to tell you. Something, uh, important. The rumors concerning the deaths of the Lightborn, they're true. What? The gods are dead. They fell two winters ago, beneath the sword of an unknown traveler. We, uh, that is, the Order, have known about this for quite some time now, but haven't told the common people yet. But since the two, the three of you intend to take the trial, there's no way to disguise the truth anymore. But how can a god die? Uh, there was a prophecy, as old as the Lightborn themselves, in which there was talk of a shadow god, who would end the era of gods. And it came true. I'm sorry. You're sorry? You're telling us that the gods have been killed, and you are sorry. What's next? That tomorrow the sun will stop shining? Tell us that... that this is a test, Master. It is, isn't it? A test of our faith. No. The Lightborn are dead. But, hard as it may be to accept, we cannot afford we? to fall into a spiritual crisis right we? now. We... The Order of the Gods, Malthus's order, was created to protect the Lightborn. And if what you're saying, this, this blasphemy is true, then we're meaningless. We failed, don't you see that? Oh, by the Black Guardian, I, I just can't believe it. And though I shan't be seen, thou shalt live by my virtue. Third Revelation, verse 137. I know it's hard, Dunwar, but if this is true, we have to show strength and keep on believing in what the Lightborn stood for. Which is the idea of peace and... Oh, just shut your mouth, Sakaresh. If anything, you lowborn scum are living proof that the Order is going downhill. Do you really think I don't know about the village? You're a damned witch, and if this were the old times, you would have been crucified long time ago. You don't mean that, Dunwar. Drop it, for heaven's sake! We're all on the same side here. No, we are not. This wench doesn't have any right to wear the white robes. And if you would spend more time with the holy scriptures instead of your brandy bottle, you would see it as well. But no, you just... Shut up! I swear to you, one more word and you will wish that I just suspended you. But... No buts! Do you understand? Yes. <sighs> I hope so, for your sake. <sighs> Just be glad that this is a time when we need skilled mages more than ever. Just be glad. 
Now enough of this. Our demeanor defiles this sacred place. There will be enough time for depression and personal crisis after the trial. <sighs> Let's recite the holy words. Thou art my light, my glimmer at the horizon. Thy name is my sacrament, and thy path I will honor. In life, as in death. May, May your light, your guide, light me. guide me. Good. As you know, this trial will test the fortitude of your spirit. Because this is what um, distinguishes a keeper from a soldier. What distinguishes a wise man from a fool. Keep that in mind. Now, drink the potion I gave you. You first, prodigy. Let's hope the Grand Master was right about you. No, 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 no. I knew I wouldn't be the last one. Did they also tell you the tales about the Keeper's spirit? They've lured you into a trap, you know. And you fell for it. Because you're arrogant. Just as I am. As I was. Of course not. At least not according to your definition of the word. But then again, what is reality anyway? If I told you that you and your friend Sirius actually lie dead at the bottom of the sea, and that everything that has happened so far, your journey to Ark, the search at the Sun Coast, was only a dream, would you be able to recognize the truth? The answer is no, because you don't want to be dead. Therefore, your mind will do anything to make you believe this entire dream you've had was and is reality. <sighs> Doesn't it? Tell me, what is time to the dead and dreaming anyway? The last second before the water floods into your lungs. The very last instant before it tears them apart. In your mind, it could be an eternity. A self-created sanctuary built from nothing but your wishes. But what's the point in talking anyway? You don't want to believe me. And I'm tired of trying to make you. Now leave me alone, before we make the suppressor even angrier. He doesn't like words. He likes the silence. What? They haven't told you about him? Oh, that's so typical. The suppressor. He's the reason why we will be imprisoned here forever. And why we can't access our feelings and wishes. And he does it because he wants us to lose hope. Stop believing. And... You know, sometimes I wonder if that's exactly what we humans... What I have to do to finally be free. Give up. Detach myself from the dreams of the past. Who knows if there were anything else than phantasms to begin with. But no. No, not yet. It's too early to surrender. And isn't that what makes us human, anyway? To hope? And to just keep on waiting for that one miracle that will end the pain once and for all? Yeah. Yeah, I'll wait. And you will wait with me forever.
how did you do that? Y you... You simply opened it? But that's impossible! All these years it's kept me from escaping and, and you just... Come, come on. We... We have to look. We... We have to look and see what's outside. We won't get far, but... But still, we... We have to see. Come, lead the way. These are the scourges of the suppressed. They want to punish us. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea to go 
After all, I mean, I mean, yeah. Yes, the cell is small. At least it's safe. been here before. By oh, the gods, everything here looks so similar. It's, it's a damn maze. Oh, oh really? We, we should never have left. This will be our doom. Oh no. No, no, no. Do you see it? All the cells, they're all empty, and there's blood. Oh no. There were people in there, just like us. They didn't know their place either, and, and now they're dead. They've simply dissolved, because they dared to disobey the suppressor. <laughs> By the gods, this is what will happen to us too. I knew it was a mistake to leave in the first place. I just knew it. You see, we're, we're back where we... Alone. The suppressor's punishment. It will be horrible. No, there isn't. Just look at us. Look at what we are. We are the damned because we are trapped too deeply in the past. And that's why we do not deserve freedom. Of course I'm a part of you, and you are a part of me. Isn't that obvious? But I should have known you wouldn't understand. You're too weak. You always were. 
No, you haven't. Because you're blind. The suppressor is here. In every single stone. In every bone. In every drop of blood. And yet you are too blind to see it. But I should have known. I mean, what can you expect from someone who has killed his entire family? I followed you because for a brief moment, you made me want to believe, and now you've dragged me into the abyss along with you. So you figured it out? <laughs> yes. I am what keeps you in this place. But was it blind rage that made you act, or have you truly understood who I am? Have you understood what drives you and determines your actions? The salt corrodes your skin, and the water filling your lungs is cold. But you still haven't found it, child, have you? Oh, hey. Good to see you awake. How are you feeling? In the temple. The Curarium, to be precise. You were brought here when you were traveling with that Ixen guy. I think the others are already awake, but I didn't want to leave you here, so I thought I'd just stay. I mean, hey, you are a keeper of the first sigil now, aren't you? I believe congratulations are in order. Don't mention it. Bad, though, that this keeperness won't get you anywhere. Do you know why? Because you're pathetic. Simply pathetic. I said you are pathetic. At first, we believed it would be more exciting this time. <laughs> but now that we've seen the new prophet, our hopes are gone. You're a joke. A nobody who let his only friend kick the bucket. As if you'd ever accept that. You humans are always so damn persistent, aren't you? Why? Why can't you just let go? Because in the end, you are powerless, just as all those before you. And you, Prophet, you are the biggest joke of all. You are nothing but an urchin. A weakling. And a murderer. And that is why you will burn. All of you. The cleansing will happen, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. What have you done to us? You are so naive. The world is an interplay of cause and effect. And the only logical consequence of your existence is annihilation. That's the way it was, and that's the way it's going to be. But enough of the banter, urging. We wanted to meet you, and so we did. Even though the result is rather sumering. Now wake up. Keep on stumbling through the mist. <laughs> 